Hey Gringos, thanks for your response. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I'm gonna try. I'm I'm kind of bad. I didn't take notes, and I, you know, I watched your video, but I don't have, um, you know, that much time to watch it a couple of times to take notes and make a really coherent argument. So I hope it comes out sounding kind of coherent. Um, but in the first part of the video, you talk about um, another example that you give with a um, a woman. Should she owe me love, um, or if she, you know, and here is my my issue. And let me give another example. Um, no, I don't think just because someone else has some kind of control over a resource that it is ethically good or right of them to ask anything they want for it. Um, let's say that um, one person in the world somehow got uh, got monopoly over all of the water. Um, so every human being needs a lot of water. They have monopoly over it. Um, and so to exist you need to ask that person to please give you some water. That person's condition is simple. You will be their slave. Anything in your life that you do, you need to check with them. Um, and if you do as they ask, then you will get your water. Now, you may think that's not a realistic scenario. My argument would be, um, given property rights, society tends towards similar situations simply by people controlling the means of production and um, property to the extent that we basically need to beg them to exist. But whether it's a realistic scenario or not, it is one that you need to consider. Um, so, I mean, if you want, you can say, well, maybe, I don't know, it's 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 just an ubermensch, it's a superhuman being that just buys up all of the water, or it's an alien that, through some kind of um, supreme uh, capitalist power, gains control of all of the water, however they do it. They now have control of all of the water. And they ask you, you know, basically, once you're of age of consent, you sign the you sign the paper, and you accept the fact that they're going to do whatever they want to you, um, just so that you can receive your daily allotment of water, and they can cancel that contract anytime they wish. Is that ethically just? It's their property, right? All of that water is their property. Um, I would argue it's still not ethically just for them to do it. Um, just because it's their property, according to the property laws that that society has, doesn't make it just for them to ask anything they want for it. If you want a slightly less ludicrous example, say you're just wandering in the desert and you come across a dying person and that dying person happens to be a billionaire and you happen to have some water and you know the way back to the car um, and is it ethically justified for you to ask them to sign over all of their property to you since you hold the water and the map um, in order for them to be saved I would argue it's not no it's not justified at all um, in fact really you should be getting for that water and the map um, at best what you're entitled to based on the effort that you went through in gaining them now it may be difficult to determine that so in the real world we may need to have pricing systems um, and we may need to have certain market forces in place maybe maybe not um, that regulate how much something costs but ethically I think what you're entitled to when you're giving that person the water and the map is the amount of effort that you put in in producing those not the amount of effort you know that n not 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 the value to that person because the value to that person is of course ultimate they will die without it but no, I don't think it's ethical for you to ask them that. And I think that's pretty much it for all of those scenarios. 
Um, and there's a lot to be said for why I believe even a very kind of liberal libertarian scenario to be flawed because I don't think that people start with equal opportunity even if you redistributed everything every time someone's born. But leaving all of that aside, um, it's I don't think it's fair to uh, to give people some amount of power because they control some vital resource that's vital to someone else. And um, when it comes to, I gave the example of the, um, what if the person that goes into the forest is a purple pe person and 95% of society are blue and they just say, purple guy, if you want to live in society, if you want to have some food, if you want to have some shelter, then you live like we live and that's what's fair because we control everything. Uh, and I thought that was unfair. Again, that's that's the big risk. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be one guy. It could be a group of people that controls a certain resource. And suddenly we're saying just because according to some kind of property right, they control that resource, anything they do with it becomes just and ethically justified. I don't think so. Um, I disagree with that. Anyways, thanks for your response. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm sure we'll have um, uh, some more disagreements on the matter. Um, but yeah, I, in the next couple of days I'll be very busy, so I'll just be responding to you in comment form. But again, thanks very much for your video.